In today's video, I will show you how to use the Airtable API. This is what the final result will look like when we use Postman, which is a free API client that you can download so that you can easily follow along. And in this specific example, I'm getting a list of all the records that are currently in my Airtable. This is what my Airtable looks like, and you can see I have four different items. And if we go back to the response, you can see all of the items are in this response. And just before we start, I will leave a link in the description and in the comments where you can download this exact Postman collection that you see here completely for free free so that you don't have to manually recreate these API calls yourself. To get started, the first thing you need to do is to go to this exact URL to create a personal access token so that we can interact with the Airtable API. If you don't have an Airtable account, just create one or sign into an existing Airtable account and then just go to this link here. Once you're on this page, click create new token. You can name the token whatever you'd like. I'll just do example one. Click add a scope and just add all these scopes that you see me adding. So it should look something like this. Then click add a base. And just like the second option, it says all current and future bases in this workspace. Then click create token. Make sure to copy this token and store it somewhere else as this will only be shown once as you can see here. Once you have a copy, just click done. And now you can see all the personal access tokens you have created. We will now look at the documentation to see how we can easily make the API call that I showed during the beginning of this video. So just go directly to this link and I'll make sure to leave this link in the description so you can easily find it. Here you can read more about the list records API call and see all the requirements. The easiest way to replicate this call is just to copy this curl that you see in the top right and just click the copy button and then switch back over to Postman. Once you're in Postman, click file import and you can just paste the curl that we just copied and you should now see that it automatically imported the api call and set everything up for us next click on the headers tab and you should see an authorization header and where it says your token go ahead and just paste the value that you copied earlier when you created your own personal access token i will paste in the value that i copied earlier so you just make sure you do it exactly like this but make sure to use your own bearer token once you have that set up, then the last changes we need to make is we need to update the base ID and the table ID or name variables that you see here. We can easily find these values if we go back to our Airtable and in the URL in this first section, just copy the value. This will be our base ID. And so I'll just replace the base ID variable with the actual value. And then here for the second part of the URL, this will be our table name. And so I can just erase this part and just paste in this value. Now we can hit send. You can now see we get a valid response back from the Airtable API and it has all of the items that we have in our Airtable. The next API call I want to show is the get record API call or just getting a single record. You can repeat the exact same steps like we did before by copying the curl and importing it to Postman. I already have mine set up here, but you can repeat the exact same steps from the list records API call and be able to reproduce this as well. The only difference is that we need to specify a record ID for this specific record that we're trying to get more information about. We can do that by going to our previous API call and you can see here that each record has an ID value. So we can just copy the value here and then go back to our API call and just paste in the value. Once we have that set up, we can hit send and you can now see all the information about the single record. The next API call I want to show is the create records API call. You can read more about it here, but just do the exact same thing as before and just copy the curl here and then import it to Postman. I have mine set up already, but this is what it would look like. And the only difference is we just need to create a JSON object that will represent the record that we are trying to create. Depending on what fields you have in your Airtable, you can just populate them here. So if I go back to my Airtable, you can see I have a names attribute, a assignee attribute, as well as a status attribute. In my example here, I'll just be creating a new record with a name and status. Once you have your JSON object set up, just click send. And we can now see the response that we get back is the new record we just created. If we go back to Airtable, we can now see the new record that we just created through our API call. The next API call I want to show is how to update a record. If we go back to documentation and click on update record, we can read more information about it. So import this API call and it should look something similar to this, where now the only difference is we need to update the record ID that's at the very end of this URL. We can get the record ID of the record that we just created by going back to the response and just copying the ID here and just pasting in this as the value. Similar to the create records API call, just pass in a JSON object and specify the fields that you want to update. So right now I'm just going to update just the name attribute. Once you have everything set up, click send. 
If we look at our Airtable, we can now see that the previous record we had has now been updated to cook dinner instead of what it was before. For the last API call, I will show you how to delete a single record. Once you have it imported, the only thing we need to change is the record ID that we want to delete. And so I'll just use the previous record ID that we used when updating the record and just paste it here. Then you can click send. We can now see that we got back this response letting us know that the record was deleted. And if we go to our Airtable, we can now see that the record was deleted. And that is the end of this Airtable API tutorial. Just as a reminder, if you don't want to manually recreate all these API calls yourself, I will have a link in the description and in the comments where you can download the exact Postman collection that I just showed for this entire tutorial. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.